tonight is back again. We're broadcasting live from Channels TV Sports Center in Lagos, Nigeria. Glad to have you join us. I'm Austin Okonakwa. It's the Monday night edition. And of course, you know, it comes with so much vibes on the show tonight. There's so, so much to talk about. But it's good to have you join us once again. What are you talking about in Nigeria? They're looking forward to that crucial match between the Super Eagles of Nigeria. So I'm saying what's crucial about it. Yes, for uh, Super Eagles tech will advise again a raw and his team is very crucial because it's all about building a team before the 2018 FIFA World Cup in Russia. We will take a look at that one tonight on the program. There are a lot of developments coming out of the camp of the Super Eagles and we are interested in that. We'll talk about it uh, on the show tonight. Also on the show, uh, there's basketball, there's table tennis, there's badminton, there's mixed martial arts. What, what's mixed martial arts? What does it entail? So much to talk about as regards that one because some person says, is it Taekwondo? Is it kickboxing? Mixed martial arts. To let you know that there is a federation of that sport in the country, and the president will join us. It's all about um, putting, you know, dots to the right places. Know the persons that are responsible for that and ways that Nigeria can grow. By the way, uh, in Budapest, Hungary, the kickboxing world championships is ongoing. No team Nigeria. Why? What's that story? All of it we'll try to find out uh, tonight on the program. Also, on the show, the Four Connect, yes, they went to uh, Morocco. They weren't beaten. Uh, they picked up uh, a valuable point. They played 1-1. One, one. Uh, return leg will be in Nigeria. They are very optimistic uh, they will win that one. Also on the show, we'll talk about uh, what's going down in the English Premier League. A lot of talking points. It was a tale of, uh, of two cities, London versus Manchester. At one, at one end, London won. At the other and Manchester won. So uh, it's all tied, but um, so many talking points coming out of the camp of Manchester United. So Manchester United fans, when we get to that level, we would like to hear from you. Walk with us on this journey. Deontay Wilder. Ah, a lot of you guys have called him the beast. Look, he didn't waste time. Opening round, um, then he said goodbye to the fight. Uh, put his opponent uh, down to the ground. Is it that uh, Berman Steven didn't come to that fight? What really happened? But anytime, any day, you know that Deontay Wilder was going to win, but winning in that fashion. And so after that victory, he says, hey, Anthony Joshua, come out. Yes, come out. Enough of the talks. Let's give these fans the fight that they want to see. And they asked him, would you, would you go to London to fight? He said, hey, I will go to London. Uh, so many talking points coming after uh, Deontay Wilder uh, retained that WBC heavyweight title uh, belt. And Anthony Joshua says, I won't talk much, but hey, Deontay, I'll eat you up. Aha, the talks have started. We just won that fight. You guys bring on that fight so much to talk about on the show tonight. Uh, and it's such a pleasure to have you join us once again. By the way, uh, at dinner we... Ladam Boso has been unveiled as the new coach of FC Fian Uba. So much is going down. Let's bring you into everything that we'll be talking about tonight. It's on the program sports tonight on channels television. You can talk to us on Twitter, channels underscore sports, Facebook channels, I think sports. You can also send us an email to sports tonight at channels tv.com. Just to also let you know that all our top stories can be viewed on our website. It's channelstv.com and on YouTube for slash channels web. If you're on the go, you can download the Channel TV app for your iPad, your iPhone, your Blackberry, your iOS, your Windows phones, and your Android phones. Just log on to m.channelstv.com. Download the app. It's so simple. Follow the instructions. m.channelstv.com. Download the app and you're part of just about everything that is going down in your world of sports tonight on channels television just to let you know so much is going down and we would want you to be a uh, part of it so keep those comments keep those questions comments suggestions uh, whatever it is is going down in our world of sports just keep it coming we are here for you we're going to take everything on the show tonight let's get on with the show now talk about Aaron Quadri. What's going on with Aaron Quadri? Um, remember, he's, he's basking in euphoria of uh, getting new sponsors and he wants to do well uh, whenever he returns to the world. So, Aaron Quadri will on Wednesday, November the 8th, uh, make a return to the international stage as the Nigerian battles with the world's best at the IWTF World uh, Tour Tag, the German Open. Yes, Arnold Quadri will be back. As the only active Nigerian star on the international scene, Arnold Quadri uh, has already traveled to Germany to compete in one of the prestigious uh, World Tour, which serves up uh, actually uh, tomorrow, uh, November the 7th, with the preliminary round. 
you know, Cordy just led his club, uh, Portugal's Lisbon, to another win over the weekend in the Portuguese league and is aiming for a good outing in the competition, but needs to scale the order of qualifying uh, from the preliminary round after it was drawn in Group 12 against European stars. So... Arnold Quadri out of um, the IWTF World Cup in Liege, Belgium. I didn't go so well for him. He needs to dust his shoulder, pick himself back up, and let's see what he can do at the German Open. All the best. So Arnold Quadri is doing so well to uh, get us talking about table tennis in Nigeria. Let's get on with the show. Now, last week, Friday, we had the president of the Badminton Federation of Nigeria, Francis Obi, was here, and he says, look, we want to revive badminton in the country. We're getting ready for the National Badminton Championships, and I would like to tell you information that you can use that more than 150 badminton players across the country have indicated their interest to play in the first Katsina Golden Star um, National Badminton Championship. Uh, the four-day tournament has brought, uh, brought joy to players in the country who have not played a national championship over four years. Can you beat that? Over four years, no national championships. And these guys are giving them the double slam because right after the Katsina Championship, they will be coming over to Lagos. And players are excited. Look, Frank Hobby also uh, says, look, don't bother. A lot of questions are being asked about the venue. He says, look, security has been arranged. It's going to be top-notch. Everybody will be fine. Over 2,670,000 Naira will be available for winners in the at the first uh, National Badminton Championships that will take place in Katsina. So on Wednesday, um, that competition will serve up. Uh, sounds good. Um, Lagos-based uh, player uh, Okpeyori uh, Anu, uh, she, uh, look, she's so excited. So look, um, the last time we hosted a championship was 2013 in Abuja, and since then nothing has come up. Now we have not just one, but two championships this month, which makes it more exciting than ever. And that's why we keep saying that, how can our players get better if they don't have competitions uh, that will keep them busy? So uh, it's good to know that that one has come. Uh, and hopefully the organizers will do the right thing. Uh, pictures you're seeing at the Lagos State Badminton uh, Classics. We, we have all of these uh, foreign stars come and then win. That's because no much competitions to get athletes in Nigeria ready. So if they play the one in Katsina, come play the one in Lagos, next year more competitions, more tournaments, then players will get ready uh, and then they will be assessed easily and coaches will also have an avenue to also sharpen their skills. So it's a win-win for everyone. Let's wish the Badminton Federation of Nigeria all the best as they get ready for that double slam. Two national championships, one in Katsina and the other one in Lagos.